This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Change Fonts and Font Size Using WordPress. I will try to get through this quickly. Let's take a look. I created a post the other day on uh, Business Blogging 101, which is the site I use for these tutorials, called Changing Fonts and Font Size Using WordPress. and. Uh, see if I can enlarge that slightly so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so this this is a tutorial but it's all textual. It just uh, explains how to do things and probably not in a very um, easily understandable way. So what I resolved to do is create a video tutorial that goes along with this so if you need the instructions they're here uh, on the Business Blogging 101 or, yeah, site, and um, you can also look at the tutorial in video form. Okay, so what I um, discussed here, this was an answer to a reader's question about changing fonts and font size. Um, you may have looked at the tutorial which is called How to Position an Image and Wrap Text Around an Image, and to uh, change fonts and font size in WordPress, you can use a similar technique, or basically the same technique, which is um, using what's called inline cascading style sheets uh, code and that you insert into the HTML using the code editing window or HTML editing window in WordPress. The reason that you do that is there's no way, you know, built into the uh, WYSIWYG editor um, on WordPress that allows you to, to manipulate fonts like that to change the font that you're using other than to just do something like this I'll show you here uh, there is a way to take text for instance the text here that says blow that up. It says this is a paragraph, okay. That is a paragraph uh, format. I can open using this button on the visual editing window the uh, advanced editing toolbar and I've highlighted that text where it says this is a paragraph. If I click on the menu here you'll see I've got a bunch of options um, one of them being, say, a heading of size 1, the largest. Uh, now it's much larger, and, and that's, that's uh, essentially formatted as a H1 uh, tag with an H1 tag in the HTML, which means it's, it's large. Um, and it also is uh, a way of, of telling search engines that this is something very important on the page by using that H1 um, format. So that's about it. You, you can't choose the font and you cannot uh, choose any other formatting other than to use the menu like that. But what you can do if you have the um, ability in WordPress, uh, WordPress.com uh, is change the CSS. And I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to show you the inline technique here. I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, so let's look at the inline technique. I'm going to go back and take that formatting off from heading one, put it back to paragraph, okay, like so. Now, the code that you can insert, if you if you read the tutorial text uh, that goes along with this, you'll see what I have done. Um, Here's our text that says this is a paragraph, right? We're looking at the visual text editing window for our post here. It happens to be a post. And I can insert then this text, which is included in the text of the tutorial on the Business Blogging 101 site. I can grab this text here or type it in, whatever. I'm going to highlight and copy that okay and uh, normally what would happen now I'm saying that I want to format this text as 
sans serif. I'm going to change this slightly, okay, so you see something different because uh, this is already sans serif font being used here. So we'll go back. And, okay, now I'm going to switch over to the HTML editing window. I'm going to go find the same text that says this is a paragraph. Okay. And here it is. All right, now in front of that, I'm going to insert my formatting code. Dunk. Okay, if you can see that, hopefully. Um, I'm going to change the font family here to times. All right, a serif font. And what I've done is I've put a P tag in front of it, and then I've used the style uh, value. I can't remember the right name for that, but I've, I'm using style there. I'm going to put a P uh, forward slash P at the end of the paragraph just for kicks, and then I'm going to save this thing and hope that it works. Okay, that is done. We'll go back, we'll look at it in the visual editing window and see what it does for us. Down here at the bottom. Okay, it's so tiny you can't see it. Uh, I'm going to go out to the post, refresh. And it takes us there. Okay, you can barely see. I'm going to bump this up to ridiculously large proportions. And I think that you can tell here that that is indeed Times or Times New Roman would be another font that we could use there. So I've changed the font, okay, using uh, the code editing window. Go back here and look at that difference. All right, this is what we did. We inserted that font change. Now, basically, you have a whole bunch of options uh, using, this is cascading style sheets, formatting, um, just like you use to position an image and wrap text around an image in an earlier tutorial. There are um, a whole lot of different formatting options that you have that you can insert into this style um, uh, designation. So, we look at a few more here. I've created something um, for a caption that you might use to, to put underneath a photo, for example. Okay, now I've got a big long um, set of characteristics that I want to assign to my font. Okay. Um, you can get these off of the website, the post. I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. I have, I don't know if you can see this, I'll try to blow it up further. Okay, there I think you can see this is a caption written there. Okay, and this is all the formatting that I'm going to put in here. Okay, so I'm clicking in front of the text that I want to format and then I'm inserting the P tag. It's this left bracket with a P. That's HTML uh, designating this thing as, as a paragraph and then style and then all these characteristics that I want to assign. Okay, and then at the end I'll put my closing P tag. Alright, now let's save this and see what happens. So remember, all this we're doing, we're using the HTML editing window here. Not the visual, but the HTML so that we can insert little snippets of code to do our formatting. Okay, so I saved that. Now if I go back out to the post, remember here we've formatted uh, this, this is a paragraph text uh, using times font. And here's our, this is a caption. We're going to refresh the page and see if that changed. 
it should take us back there. All right, it's barely changed. It's hard to see. It's bold now. Um, I'm gonna I run out of time. I'm gonna just change this. Watch. I'll change the font size to 30 pixels. That is assigning the size there. Okay. Save it. Refresh. Hopefully it's going to be gigantic. There it is. Okay. This is a caption. That's not a size I would want to use for a caption, but you see how we did it by changing the paragraph formatting using inline CSS in WordPress.